Hello guys, welcome to my day one bonus. Um, because I was having some problems with my camera and everything, the battery was going dead and I think I have, I have three batteries for my camera and they're going dead so I decided to do this video for you. And with this video, I'm actually doing a version of the skull that I did all myself that you can find on my uh, Facebook page so uh, I'm just applying the white right now and I'm applying it in areas like I mentioned in my last video I like to do everything with my sponge first um, I could easily paint this on but it would be very heavy on the skin and I like my paints to be not as heavy on the skin so right now I'm just applying the white where I think it needs to be and once I have that, then I'm going in with a dark gray color and I'm outlining the whole design. I'm outlining the eye sockets, the nose, the whole design, just to where I think it needs to be. This is a nice little tone because I'm going to go in with some light gray in just a little while. But yeah, here's your nice little bonus video for you. Now I'm applying some teal color. And I'm not really going up to the actual edge of the line or anything. I'm just filling it in because I'm going to go back with some dark blue. Uh and kind of blend it in so it gives it a nice little gradient that's back there um, kind of a shadow kind of deal and stuff but yeah I just go around the whole face and anywhere that's open I'm applying the light blue in or the teal color into and I should be turning the head and <laughs> hopefully in future videos I'll be doing that now I'm applying the dark blue And I'm just outlining all the blue right up against that dark gray color. And then I'm kind of blending it in together. I really need to get a better camera angle for this. So, now that I've done that, now I'm going in with a lighter gray color and I'm putting it everywhere where there would be a shadow to give it a three dimensional appearance. All the low light areas will have the light gray color. So I go around the whole design and I do that and I kind of refine the lines and kind of blend a little bit on top of the dark gray so it kind of pulls it out. And I do that on the entire design as well. Anywhere where I think there would be shadows. This design just came to me from a shirt that I was wearing. I got the shirt at Walmart and it had skulls on it and it was red. And I'll put a link down below in the description so that you can see exactly um, where I got this design from and uh, what it looked like on me and I had more red in mind. Here I am going through with a, a darker gray color and now I'm doing the teeth and I'm doing the teeth a little bit differently than I normally do I usually outline the teeth first and then fill them in this time I'm going through with the dark gray 
and putting it down as a base and then I'm going to be going on top of that so now I'm going in with some black and I'm outlining everything and I'm redefining all the lines and I'm trying to really uh, pick it up and stuff this I sped up so you can see the whole thing uh, completely instead of cutting away from it this way you can see the whole design and you can see how I took the lines and I refined them and drew, drew them out and really made it pop Now I could have blended the black in with a little bit of the blue, but I decided not to. And here I am outlining the teeth now. It's a little hard to do because he does have a mustache, so you got to work with what you got. And here I am putting the white on top. Now with that white, I'm going to go around the different design, and I'm going to start putting in the specular highlights all over the place. I wanted to do something with the chin a little bit differently. He had the beard there, so, you know, what's the best thing to do? Let's cover it up with some blood. And I learned this trick from the Wolf Brothers. You go in with a darker red, a red-black, and you start drawing the lines down, and then you go back on top of it with a medium color red, and you keep lightening it up until you get nice layers there, and it makes it look like blood just dripping all over the place. But that's the design. What do you guys think? Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.